Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for another unboxing video or should I uh, say uh, an unbagging video in a way because yeah number one guys with this thing that I purchased from Aliexpress is that it didn't come in a box now I looked at the reviews and apparently all of this unit that I sold by that seller on Aliexpress come without a box so that's a heads up um, yeah very annoying because you know me guys I'm a collector I like to have the boxes but I did get this very cheap guys so I'm not going to say too much um, it cost me 20 quid guys that's with postage so uh, just shut up that's what I tell myself don't worry about it it makes me so angry. Uh, anyway, right, so yeah, it's an unbagging, not an unboxing. But what did I get, guys? Well, it's another little handheld emulation device, guys, that has been, uh, yeah, doing its rounds. A lot of people either hate it or love it. That seems to be the uh, general thing with this one, guys. But what is it, eh? Uh, yeah, I shall show you in a sec, guys. Put it this way. It looks like a... SNES controller, hmm, a very cool looking thing. But yeah, as you can see guys, here we go. You can see through there, the unit there, it's in a bag. And something that's intriguing me, because I know it comes with like TV out lead and all that, but what is this thing here? That is puzzling me, and it looks like all the paperwork's there for it, even if the box isn't. So I think the best thing to do guys is to just get on with it, and uh, for me to unbag it, as I said. Uh, right, okay, where do we get into this thing? Okay, here we go. Right, I think this is where it is. There's something to be sell tape here. Oh, yes. I should have got a dusty, dusty knife out by the looks of it. So, shall we uh, just cut for a sec while I get a knife or some scissors? Well guys, I didn't get either a knife or scissors. Instead, I got my, uh, yeah, my work box cutter. Right, here we go. Let's have a look. This should do it if nothing else. Ah, and that thing has just fallen out, guys. Right, let's have a look what this is then. This is very odd, guys. I have absolutely no idea. It looks almost like a flipping uh yeah like they'd like to stand to a switch or something doesn't it let's see what it does there does it do something there no it doesn't it doesn't appear to let's see no okay i'm completely baffled with that one guys hopefully it'll make sense in the end but yeah that is very very odd i'm not too sure about that oh here we go right okay I'm even more baffled, guys. I'm just going to put that back together, he says, if he can. And, uh, yeah, what a puzzle that is. Hmm. Okay, well, let's put it aside for now. Right, we're in the bag now. And here we go, guys. All right. Is this everything here? Yeah, that seems to be an empty bag now. Yeah, there we go. All right, no box, but a bag. And then we've got a load of old cubbins here. Right, so... What is this? Ah, this tells you what that thing is for, I presume. My dear, thanks for your business. Hope you enjoy your gift. Ah, it's a free gift, guys. Yeah, it's to do something with. Not a bloody clue, really, but it's something. It's like a stand almost to hold things up by the looks of it. So that was a free gift, so that's quite cool. Yeah. Oh, that's all right then. Okay, so we know that was a free gift, whatever it's used for. Uh, I think it's a stand of some sort, right. Okay, so here. <coughs> he says, clearing his throat. Here is the actual unit itself in a weird second bag that I'm just going to rip because I don't care about this bag. It's just a bloody bag. Right, okay, so what have we got here? Right, so there we go, charger cable. And unusually, guys, it is 
for a cheap unit like this, it is a C, I do believe. Yes, it is. It's a C. Look at that. It's a C, and it seems to have a little bit of length to it. That's quite good. So I'll put that aside. And then we have here yeah, the TV out cable. Of course, it's just your red and yellow as usual. Hmm. Okay, and then here is some more paperwork, is it? Oh no, it's some sort of a. Uh, ah, look at that, it's a sticker. So yeah, you can put that on your unit if you like. That's interesting. I don't think I'll do that because I like the look of it, but still cool to have a skin. Yeah, very odd that, isn't it? Eh? How cool is that to get that with it though? Wow. Well, right, chuck him over there, and there we have the manual. Which uh, I'm holding upside down by the looks of it, I think. I don't really know. Am I? Who knows? It's in Chinese. Uh, yeah, okay, let's have a look. Inside, I'm sure it's got it in English as well. Oh, here we go. English on the other side. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's got a bit of cover to it. Wow. So, it's the usual kind of thing, guys. Usual kind of guide. So that's pretty cool. Nice one. Yeah. Right, what else have we got here? Oh. An SD card, ah uh, ha ha. That is a free gift as well, apparently. So does it not come with one in it already? Because uh, I do know that it's already preloaded with loads of games. We'll have a look in a minute. So yeah, you get this SD card. I wonder what size it is, if it even says on it. Does it? Let's have a look. He says, turn it around the right way. Let's see if it says. Uh, oh, let me have a look off camera a second. Oh, 16 gig, guys. So yeah, you get a 16 gig card with it, so that's quite cool. Even if there isn't one already in it. So yeah, we'll shut that up for a minute. And then here we go, guys. What is that, anything? No, that's just a sticker on the empty bag. So yeah, here's the bag to the unit itself. This is the one I want to uh, keep half decent at least, he says. So let's try and open that carefully. Although it really doesn't matter, does it, when you haven't got the box, guys. So, yeah, it's just going to rip anywhere, look. So, yeah, that's not exactly brilliant, but there we go. And here comes the unit itself. If it isn't all stuck around there, it says, come on, you bugger, get off. Yeah, it's stuck around the uh, analogue stick there. Oh, there we go. Uh, right, get rid of that bag as well, he says, chucking it. Wait, there we go. All right, so here we are. Let's get it the right way around. So yeah, there's the unit, guys. What a wicked looking thing. It really is. Very, very cool indeed. Now I'll tell you what, these buttons actually feel surprisingly nice. They really do for such a cheap little unit. Oh yeah, and these, they're rubber. You start and select the rubber. The D-pad feels quite cool. The analogue, although I don't really see how you would get a lot of use out of that, but, well, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, because it only emulates a certain amount of systems, guys, and I'm not sure you're going to have to use that, to be honest. But yeah, that all feels very nice. That screen is a good size. Well, you screw in the back, but there's something wicked about this unit, guys, and that is it's a rechargeable and replaceable battery. So that is cool, and you can buy them anywhere. This is deceiving, it is not stereo guys. Uh, I do believe only this side is real, that side is not real. And then, wow, look at this here. Let's turn it around that way. So you have your TV out and I presume that that's a headphone jack. You have a, ooh, a volume wheel. I do like them, you know how I like them. On and off charge port and yeah that's where you put your your memory card and yeah there isn't one in it guys so that's what that is it's not really a free gift then is it it's just a very much preloaded uh up with all sorts of gubbins on there naughty roms and yeah those feel quite nice they're very clicky oh that's quite good i like that but for a cheap unit guys this is pretty smart nothing on the sides no, nothing on the sides either side. But yeah, that looks pretty damn smart. But, you know what we've got to do, guys? We've got to uh, turn it on and have a look, haven't we? I'm going to stick that memory card in. Let's uh, grab that now, actually, and I'll put that in now. You know, the, the free gift that isn't really a free gift. 
But yeah, the other thing was the free gift, wasn't it? This 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 was the real free gift. That stand thing there, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, put the card in and have a look, shall we? Right, because it is advertised as having 6,000 plus games on it. So yeah, the memory card isn't exactly free. It's mentioned already. Right, which way does it go in? Probably that way. Let's see, and yeah. It goes in that way around, guys, if I can get my nail in there. Yeah, there we are, it's in. Cool, hopefully it's in properly. Right, so that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're going to, uh, yeah, adjust ourselves, and then we're gonna turn it on, and have a play on it and see just what you get. Right, guys, here it is in front of me. Now, you can see it's got loads of scratches here, but that's actually not scratches at all. That is the screen protector. And uh, let's see if we can get that off easy on it. No, it doesn't look like it's going to be very easy to make. No. Okay, then. So, yeah, that went well. Uh, I'll just leave it on then, guys. Who cares? At least it's been protected then with that on there. Um, but, yeah, what a nice looking thing. This is if I could get it out of the light. Um, yeah, it is really lovely, guys. Where it looks like the American um, Super Famicom, of course. Or should I say Super SNES, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's get them all out, shall we? Um, yeah, here we go. Look, the, the, the buttons are nice, guys. I do like them a lot. Uh, this stick, I can imagine it will come in handy with certain games in the end. Maybe I was being a bit harsh. Uh, yeah, it just feels really, really nice, guys. And the weight is lovely. Now, that is a lot down to, of course, the battery I was telling you about. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, guys, and I'm going to show you what type of battery it is and what I mean by that, that you're going to be able to uh, easily replace this because this is the kind of battery that you can just go into any vape shop, really, and purchase already as well as other places guys where you can buy these types of batteries these rechargeable replaceables as i've always called them let's just take that screw out he says oh come on you bloody thing let's see this is it i should have i should have skipped this bit you know you don't want to see me take a bloody screw out but you've had to right okay so let's open it up there we go guys it's that kind of battery Oh yes, right, which way around is it in here? Let's have a look. Is that way around? Yes, I think it is. So yes, guys, it's this kind of battery here. Now you can get all different kinds of makes, you can even get a Samsung one. And like I said, this is the kind of thing you find in many, many different types of vapes. Now the battery will give you around about three to four hours, roughly, before it needs charging again. Obviously, this is a 1.500 or 1,500. One, um, they're easy, easy to pick up, guys. They really, really are. Any vape shop will sell them, as well as other places like eBay and what have you. Of course, you'll get them there as well. So, yeah, that is pretty cool that it's that kind of battery because when it finally does die, you can just replace it and carry on using your handheld. Now, I'm not going to put that screw back in right now um, for obvious reasons because, uh, yeah, it's annoying and I don't want you to have to sit through me doing that. And I yeah, can't really be bothered to time skip it either. So we'll just leave it out because I hate them anyway, don't I? As you all know. But yeah, what a fantastic thing. It really, really is. He says going into a blur fest just then. But yeah, those... Yeah, do look like scratches, don't they? But they're not, of course. Like I said, there's a screen protector on there. And you won't be able to see any of that when we turn it on. But again, guys, looking down here, obviously I said about the volume wheel earlier. I do like that. I don't like these ones that are uh, built into the OS, shall I say. <laughs> and the ones where you have to put it up and down from within the OS. Very annoying. I prefer a physical one like this. Yeah, it's wonderful having the C cable as well. Yeah, absolutely blinding. But shall we actually see what this is like playing? Let's turn it on. Here we go, guys. Just take a little while to come on. 
So there we are. And I'll tell you what, this goes bloody loud. Listen. How about that, eh? That is loud. Let's turn it back down again now. Because we don't need it that loud, but it's fantastic that you can go that loud. So here we go, guys. So, yeah, first up, you're greeted with the uh, old meme. Then you go to GBA, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy. Mega Drive, Super Famicom or SNES as we know, Family Computer, which is NES of course, and then you've got the user bit here where you can go and look at ROMs that you've decided to put on yourself and what have you in your own little folder. You've also got the choice to search for a game which we'll come back to in a minute. You've got the language selections which is only two. It's Chinese or English, basically. And then you have the TV system, which is good. So as you can see there, it's on NTSC, but a press of a button, and it's on PAL. Look at that, how cool is that? Just like that, there we go. So yeah, as I say, guys, with the language, you've got Chinese or English. <laughs> now, one of the best features, guys, is this search bar, because, there is so much on here, guys. You know, 6,000 plus games or whatever they're claiming. Um, yeah, you can just go in here and uh, do it from there, guys. Absolutely wicked that you can do that. I think it's very, very cool. So you just search up whatever game it is you want and it will take you to it. But let's get out of here, he says. So how do we get back? That's it. Back with, uh, yeah, with select. So yeah, that's cool. And here we are again into here. So as you can see, you've got some games in the line here. These are the ones that are, uh, you know, being pushed forward, shall we say. They, they suggest we play these. Obviously Metal Slug's there, so not a bad choice. But if you want to get into the full list, then you have to press Start. So here we go, now you're into the full list. And this is wonderful, guys. Every single game has got some kind of artwork. Even though it might not be the correct one, it might be from a different system altogether. And then we noticed one, uh, I do believe it was a Zelda one. And they actually had, uh, yeah, the new Zelda, the picture for it. So that just shows you. But yeah, all these games, guys. There is a ton of games here. This is fantastic. Look at that. It just keeps on going, guys. Going and going and going. Tons of them. So yeah, that is brilliant. So to get back again, guys, just press that select and then you're back here. But let's see uh, the emulation plane of a metal slug, just so we've got a bit of a guide here. There we go, super vehicle. <laughs> cool, right. Let's just go, go on. And here we go. You can see, guys, the screen is pretty fantastic looking. Look at that. I mean, that's wonderful looking, I think. Yeah, and I'm using the D-pad here. But watch, you can quite happily use that stick as well. And, you know, these days, guys, we are more familiar with the stick, aren't we? Yeah, brilliant. Get down there, you bugger. That's it. But yeah, that is fantastic, guys. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of screen tear in here and there. But nothing drastic when you think that this is a £20 unit, guys. Under £20 unit. I think it's incredible. I really do. How wicked is that? Oh, here we go, look, here come the helicopters. Oh, you bugger. Got me. Get out of the way, look. Get out of the way again. And again. Oh, they got me. Damn it. 
But yeah, that is fantastic already, guys, the way that's performing. But let's come out. There we go. So yeah, to quit, just press Start and Select together. Then you get to this little menu here where you go to Quit, or Load, or Save, or Resume. Uh, we want Quit, of course. There we go. So let's move up. We'll go for a Game Boy game. Uh, let's have a look what we got here. We have a River City. Ooh, I love that game, guys. Right, should we try that one out then? Or should I show you first the amount of games that are there? Maybe I should do that. I'm jumping the gun here, aren't I? Here we go. You see the Pokemons are there. Oh, this is just wonderful what's on here already. It is incredible. All the Castlevanias and what have you. Oh, it just goes on and on and on, guys. This is fantastic. Way too many for me to scroll through. Here, 762 in fact, that's incredible. So yeah, wow, that is cool. But yeah, let's play River City Ransom and see how that plays. Here we go. This is an Atlas game, of course. Yeah, saw that bit of screen tear in there again, guys. But what are you gonna do, eh? Right, here we go. Yeah, whatever. No, it's all in uh, Japanese, guys. But we'll try and skip through it all. There we go. Let's just play this thing. Look, here we go. Wicked game, this is really, really wicked. If I actually get to somebody, yeah. That is playing beautifully, guys. Who would have believed it, eh, that a game like this would play so fantastic on such a cheap device, guys? You know, alright, it's only Game Boy Advance, but wow. What a device. Especially for somebody who wants to just be ready out of the box with all these games there on that included memory card or free gift. I tell you what, Data Frog, I think, have done a fantastic job here. They really have. Yeah, the SF2000, in my opinion, is a pretty damn cool little system. I'm not doing very well here, guys, am I? Because I'm talking too much. But yeah, that is playing fantastic as well. Wicked. Yeah, so we've got to quit again. Here we go. And we're back here. Right, so there you got Game Boy Colour, like I said. Uh, let's have a look at another one. We'll do more videos on this in the future, guys. I just want them to see, really, uh, what's what here and how well it runs. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Mega Drive. So, of course, again, if you go here, you get into the menu with all the different ones. Look at all the artworks there, guys. Well, <laughs> a form of artworks there. There's a picture of something, put it that way, on every single game. Usually, it's only a few at the beginning, like 10 or so, that have the picture, and then the rest are just blank. But, um, yeah, no, this is every single one, guys. Every single one. That is fantastic. So, yeah, let's go back again. Uh, should we just go with good old Sonic, because we all know what that's meant to sound like and play like, don't we? Right. Yeah, screen tearing again. Oh... But well, it's nothing, guys. It's minimal. This is this is still awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, there we go. Let's play that instead of just watching the uh, demo. There we go. Let's see if it's full speed. Music's got a few little glitches now and again. Again, nothing too bad. It seems to be running uh, pretty fine. Let's, let's take a run. And say, yeah, that is playing very nicely indeed. Wow, I can't get over that. Again, guys, <laughs> below 20 quid, this device. Not only does it look gorgeous, like a SNES controller, it actually does the job it's meant to. I think it's lovely. I really, really do. I know a lot of people uh, are a bit mixed feelings about it. They think, yeah, it's all right for a cheap device and all that. But there's other cheap devices that are better. But to get this look and everything, guys, you'd have to pay a lot more money and get yourself a power kitty or something like that. 
I think this is lovely. I think it's fantastic. And yeah, I'm a big, big fan. Now, I might not be such a big fan when we get to another another platform, guys. Um, and that is the Super Famicom. Because this one doesn't play as well. But yeah, I'll show you what I mean, guys. Let's have a look. Let's go into uh, yeah, the games again. Show you, you know, kind of what's here. As you can see, guys, everything again. Everything is here. Absolutely, everything is here. You name it, it's here. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, right, let's go back. Uh, let's try out, hmm, a shoot em up. Yeah, let's try a shoot em up, like Sonic Wing, because that is a fantastic game anyway. Right, here we go, let's play that one then. Now you're going to see, obviously there already, it took a little while to boot up, longer than usual. And it's still being quite slow there. Let's uh, try and move it forward. Sonic Wing, one player, yes. Now you're going to hear the music coming on in a sec. There we go. That is a slow, guys. Pretty damn slow. Let's see how we get on. Let's go over to English. And of course, I've featured this game many times on my channel. I love it. Yeah, you'll do. Thank you. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can get straight into the game here. Yeah, look, even that doesn't look very good like that already, does it? But we'll keep keep trying, guys. I mean, it's a shame. It's such a shame. It really, really is such a bloody shame that they couldn't get this right, guys. That it's playing a lot slower than it should. Um, the, oh, I don't know, guys. The music's off. It's a little bit of everything, really, has gone wrong here. Yeah, it's still playable. I'm not saying it's unplayable, not by a long shot. If anything, it might make it easier for people. And uh, pretty much all the games are like this. Uh, there is things you can do about it to make it run a bit faster. Uh, like, for instance, uh, putting on a hack of some kind to do with custom firmware and things like that. So you can get around it. But there was just an example of what happens that music can you hear that but maybe we should look at one that is a bit more familiar to everybody so let's go into the list oh come on you bugger get in the list there we go so yeah let's scroll down here one that everybody will know as you can see guys but well, you've seen all these games coming up it's absolutely incredible all these games are on here. It's going to take forever to get through this list here, isn't it? I'm just trying to find one that everybody will know better. That's all. Oh, how about... Oh, I don't know. I don't want to go all the way down to Mario. It's, um, you know, it's too far down. But what about Cool Spot, guys? I think we all know Cool Spot, don't we? Let's see how that one is uh, going to do then. Here we go. Again, took a bit longer to boot up. It looks absolutely fine. At the moment, that is a bit slow again. Let's get going. Yeah, whatever. Have you noticed how they've taken out the 7 up bits? <laughs> Right, there we go. Yeah, that isn't too bad. I mean, there's a graphical glitch at the top of the screen there, I can see. But, yeah, it's flickering and stuff like that. And it is slower. The music's slower by a tad. Maybe even a bit more than just a tad, eh? Um, but, yeah, it's still playable, guys. Um, but that is annoying at the top there. That's uh, actually getting on my nerves a bit. And that's flash, flashing away like it was. 
But yeah, I mean, that was a quick little show of Cool Spot again. Oh my god, did you hear that music now? I was going to say a game that we all know and love, probably. But that music's terrible. So yeah, to be honest, guys, um, Famicom, unless you have a little tinker with it, um, yeah, I would stay away from it. Famicom. What am I talking about? SNES Super Famicom. Um, yeah, I would stay away from it, to be fair, because it ain't a good experience until you tinkered with it. Right, okay, let's go back out. Come on, you bugger, yeah. Quit. There we go, back over. So yes, guys, I mean, we can have another look at this in another video, but I just wanted to uh, bring this to your attention. This is a fantastic, apart from the SNES emulation <laughs> at the moment, so it's been tinkered with, a fantastic little system, guys. It really, really is. For under 20 quid. It's unbelievable what it can do. Absolutely unbelievable. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm going to lay it all out, guys. And I'll be back with my final thoughts. Well, guys, what did you think of that? This is literally a under £20 unit from AliExpress. It's made by Data Frog. I forgot to mention that earlier. It's made by Data Frog, who have a bit of a mixed, uh, yeah, history. Um, but I think that's awesome, guys. Yeah, there is a lot of screen tearing. There is. But that is bearing in mind that you can adjust it a bit if you have a mess about. Um, I think, actually, that this is a fantastic thing. It seems to be quite nice quality. The build of it is lovely. Um, the buttons, yeah, they're all right. They're all right. They do what they need to do. Um, this, I still think, is going to, yeah, it might come in handy sometimes, but uh, who knows? I mean, do you really need an analog stick for any of those games? I, I don't know. Uh, lovely that they uh, give you the free gift of the memory card, even though it's in the description that all those games are there, and I presume they're on that memory card, guys. I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit more and see if they're actually on the unit, but I don't think so. I think they were on that card. Uh, that is a weird little thing, isn't it, that they've given me there. Uh, some kind of stand, yeah. Very, very odd. I mean, it's carbon fibre look to it. It's kind of cool, I suppose. You can put anything you want in there, like a tablet or something. Um, yeah, the books, again, quality uh, book there with a bit of colour. Love the length of the TV out cable and the charger. I think that's fantastic. And then you get this skin if you do want to put it on. But of course, my whole purpose in life is to have things looking sexy. That, to me, isn't very sexy looking. But looking like a SNES controller is very sexy as far as I'm concerned. Even if it has gone for the North American uh, look there. But yeah, what a fantastic unit for the price, guys. You can't go wrong. Just out the box, or should I say out the bag, eh? With that memory card there, all those games, guys. That's absolutely wonderful. So yeah, what did you think, guys, of that performance there? Yeah, it could be a bit choppy. A little bit of uh, shadowing and what have you like that. But what a fantastic screen in this thing. It really, really is. Yeah, it's no glass here. We've only got a plastic uh, lens over it, if you like. Um... But yeah, I thought, <laughs> it, you know, that little bit of screen tearing goes, who gives a shit when you get something so cheap and such a nice quality? Um, I'm over the moon with it. I think it's fantastic. But what do you think? It's over to you guys. Let me know in the comments. Would you like to drop under 20 quid on this thing? Obviously, that's without postage. But would you do that, guys? Would you drop it and pick this up? I mean, it looks fantastic just sitting on the shelf, doesn't it? I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous looking thing so yeah right over to you then guys comment away you know i would love to read your comments right, and with that guys i'm going to love you and leave you and see the usuals if you're not subbed already please drop me a sub give me a funny thumbs up if you feel that way inclined and of course tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever and again guys if you love all this retro emulationness, then i've got a fantastic group for you on facebook it's the retro emulation and Consoles fan group, guys, with now about three and a half thousand members, just absolutely amazing. 
We have a ton of content there for you from system unboxing, system reviews, emulation performance and tech help videos and a whole lot more. We also have the world's greatest admin team behind us guys so if that all floats your boat there's a link below, come over we'd love to see you. Then guys I also have my UK Crack Gaming Facebook group as well where we cover everything from the dawn of gaming with Pong machines right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. And again loads of members guys to banter with fantastic admin team and just a ton of content because other youtubers put their videos up there every single day as well as myself of course so yeah again if you love video games from all the different periods and time head below it's linked there as well and finally guys i have my uk kraut channel membership you can become a member of the uk kraut gaming family for just 99 pence a month guys that's incredible eh mm. you get members only videos you get a badge next to your name that changes colour every month down in the comments and lets everybody know that you're a member of the UK Kraut Gaming family. So yeah, if that interests you guys, just find that join button. There is other tiers with other perks attached, so just take a look and see what you think. And with that, I'm now I'm really going to love you and leave you and say, Auf Wiedersehen, tschüss and goodbye guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.